That's a lie, not true. If that's true about Jacob's trouble and 144,000, then why didn't God specifically state that he's primarily dealing with Israel? Now, some of you probably want to say, well, he doesn't have to because 144,000 prove itself. No, it doesn't. Why did Christ say in Mark 13, 37, and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch? Again, as stated in a previous video, was Christ having a stupid moment and forgot what the word all means? Secondly, let's talk about a quick problem. Look at these scriptures here in Revelation 7, verses 9 and 14. Read them carefully. Hmm. If God is primarily dealing with Israel, then what are these big group of people, of nations and tongues, especially languages? <laughs> How do you explain that? So God has a backdoor plan that's not as important as dealing with the Jews and they're just second class? Come on. Nowhere in any passage of the Bible did God say he will be primarily dealing with Israel, you know, the Jews, common phrase among Baptist, Christianity, cult followers in this tribulation time. Not in one verse does it say it. If you read the scripture carefully, especially in Romans 9 through 11, you will see that the church is the true Israel, not those heathens over in the nation of Israel land today. Again, see my screenshot here and watch the video proving that the church equals Israel. Jacob's trouble in Jeremiah 30 verse 7 and the 144,000 in Revelation 7 and 14 do not prove that God is primarily dealing with Israel. That is a lie. The church will be going through the tribulation period. There is no verse in scripture saying the church will be absent.